Hey guys, and welcome to the next part. So in this part, we're going to go to our characters folder in the blueprints folder and open up our first person character and change the uh, spawn projectile from try to adjust to always spawn, ignore collisions, because we want our bullets to always spawn. Um, and uh, what's the gun offset? So the gun offset is a bit high. We'll change that to uh, we'll change that to 15, I think. <coughs> And uh, let's see how that goes. Yeah. So our zombies are going a little crazy, so we'll fix that up too. Um, the way we're going to do that is go to our simple apocalypse folder, uh, characters, and uh, what's it under? Skeletons. Yeah, skeletons. So we'll go to our farmer first. And we're going to change the constraints for everything. And we're going to change it to, we're going to change all the limits to free, free, and I believe this will make him gib, nope, oh that was the survivor, <laughs> my bad, so this is survivor and a zombie farmer, and we just changed the survivor, which we'll, we'll leave him for now I guess, but we'll go back to the zombie farmer. And we'll change all of this constraints. Free, 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 free. We'll save that. Now we'll try killing him. And yeah, the body piece is Gib. So there's still some bugs like this, but we're going to deal with that later. We're not going to worry about that too much. And for some reason, my project settings, the use mouse for touch went back on, so we're going to turn that back off. And uh, we'll see how that, there we go. All right, that's, that's good enough for now. We'll save that. <clears throat> and uh, now we'll, uh... now we'd have to do that for all these characters. I'm not going to make a video of me doing that for all of them, but I will do that so they all give. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the zombies have a random mesh. So we're going to go to the construction script and we're going to get the mesh. We're going to do set skeletal mesh. And we're going to do, we're going to make this a variable. And then we're going to make that variable an array by clicking here. Change the variable type. And we're going to do get. And I'm going to drag up there and do last index. I'm going to drag up here and do random integer and range. So we're going to get a random skeletal mesh from our array, which is like a list of things. In this case, skeletal meshes. I'm going to get a random one and set it to that. <clears throat> now uh, we'll rename this zombie meshes and we'll just add a whole bunch. So I won't do them all for now, but I'll do five. So we'll just type zombie, 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 and zombie. Alright, so now our zombies are just completely random zombies, and uh, right now they're the shaders are just compiling, so they have no textures, but that'll come in. Just wait for that real quick. <clears throat> so now whenever we want to add more zombies, uh, you just go to here and just add more. And uh, there you go. So we go there. And as you can see, since we haven't done his physics thing yet, he's still going crazy, so we'll need to fix that. But uh, Another thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our mesh here or our capsule component, sorry. And we're going to make that hidden in-game again because we don't need to see that anymore. Close that. And there we go. So uh, I'll go through these and uh, deal with their constraints. But uh, So again, you just go free, free, free. Free, free, free. Save. And uh, that should uh, deal with it for the the um, ones that that's relevant to. Alright, so that'll do it for this video. In the next video, uh, we'll probably work on spawners so we can have these guys spawn in and then you can actually win and lose the game. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.